Alright, hello everyone, my name is Shep, welcome back to The Witcher Circus, and today I am announcing the April Fool's Hellion and Blake Doctor Tournament. So this is gonna happen tomorrow, it's gonna happen in less than 24 hours from now, so if you want to register, do it soon. This is a very short notice tournament, because it's more of a meme one, it's more of an off-meta one, it's more of a let's have fun tournament, which is something that we haven't done in this official tournament server just yet, but let's see how this goes. So in terms of the rules, we will, we will have a 15 euro prize, so you know, in case you want to play for the prize, it is still there, if you want to go to, to first place. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty small and basically we're gonna put the spotlight on the Hellion and the Plague Doctor. So let's read what Silent wrote here. So, new tournament this weekend. This is our first small theme-based tournament which will take place in one day this Saturday. So the entire tournament will be in just one day. The matches are gonna be real quick. I'll explain how they, how they work soon. And you will not need to have a good understanding of these characters, but also showcase imagination and creativity in team, team building within a new environment. So the rules in brief, uh, we will have a look at the longer rules, but let's just talk about the rules in brief. So all teams must feature a Plague Doctor, a Hellion, or both. So you can still play whatever characters you want, but your teams must feature one of these two, or both of them at the same time. So you already know that your opponent is going to have these two characters, which... The reason we're using Plague Doctor and Hellion is because they're widely regarded as the worst characters in the Butcher Circus by a pretty big margin, especially the Hellion. But yeah, they're the worst characters, but they're going to shine because no character can have trinkets except for these two. Meaning that everyone else, other than the Plague Doctor and the Hellion, are gonna have zero trinkets, while they can benefit from having two trinkets and having their unique trinkets as well. So they're gonna be like so far beyond every other character in the Witcher Circus, that they might actually be good. <laughs> you know, they might actually be good characters. So one thing you can do is... Oh, I mean, there's gonna be a lot of imagination, a lot of a lot of crazy stuff being built, which is actually pretty fun. We're not gonna see just the same old teams over and over again. Uh, we're probably gonna have, like, every match as a new team, pretty much. We're just gonna see people go crazy with what they can do. So a lot of heroes are gonna suffer. Because of not having, uh, because of not having their trinkets, and the Black Doctor and Helen are gonna shine. So yeah, all games are best of three with a loser's bracket, and the rule of not winning twice with the same team applies. So now uh, we're gonna have a look at that in the rules. But if you win with one team, like I don't know, like having this would be my pick, by the way, Doggy, uh, rather Black Doctor. Doggy, Man at Arms, Hellion. If you win with that team, then for the next best to, I mean, for the next match in that best of three and the match after it, you can't use that team. So yeah, let's have a quick look at the tournament rules then. So it's pretty much the same as it was before, but we're adding some new stuff. So yeah, matches between the players in both brackets are best of three, and the grand finals consist of one or two best of three matches. So the reason it's one or two is because you can go to the Grand Finals as never having lost a best of three, or you can go to the Grand Finals having already lost one. So you can go from the loser's brackets, which then you, you would have to win two best of threes. Which, you know, at least it, it definitely won't be as long and drawn out as it usually would be. Or at least you'd think so, because the teams are, aren't going to be quite as optimized with trinkets. So maybe, like, the lack of accuracy, all the accuracy debuffs that Hellion and Plague Doctor love to use, are gonna make this really difficult, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I think Shieldbreaker Jester is also gonna be a really good combo because Shieldbreaker is, you know, obviously just counters the uh, the Plague Doctor pretty hard, and the Jester gets the battle ballot. And then you can also bring an Abomination and just screw the Hellion over as well. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking that the best teams like are still gonna be like just trinketless characters, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. A lot of people must be thinking opposite of what I'm thinking. But yeah, you cannot use the same winning team within the same best of three, and your team must include either the Hellion or the Plague Doctor or both. And, you know, if you bring only one of them, you're only gonna have two trinkets total. If you bring both of them, you have four trinkets total. So bringing both of them makes more sense, but maybe you have something in your arsenal, something in your mind right now that's telling you, like an ace up the hole, that, um, up, ace up the hole. Holy shit, that is the worst quote I've ever said. 
It's an ace in the hole, champ, or an ace of the sleeve. Jesus. Okay, let's let's forget about that freaking second language moment. But yeah, no trinkets are allowed except on Helling or Plague Doctor, so absolutely no trinkets. After winning with your team, you cannot play a team with the exact same four characters, even if they have different trinkets, moves, moments, or placements. However, similar characters such as Arbals, Musketeer, etc. are allowed. So yeah, this is basically the same thing as said there. Players are expected to play as soon as they know their opponent. If there is no sign of their opponent, uh, 15 minutes after the match was supposed to start, they automatically win. So um, the matches will be. Oh, I should have shown that at the, at the beginning. I should have shown when the matches are going to start and all that, when the registration is going to open. But yeah, the rent registrations are open until April 6, 12 a.m. and Universal Time Coordinated? I think that's how it goes. But yeah, the links to this, to the registration, and the links to this Discord server are going to be in the description, obviously. And also a link if you want to help support the further tournaments on our Ko-Fi. And big thank you to all the people that are actually supporting us and making these tournaments possible already. So yeah, let's continue with the rules. Where were we? Where were we? So yeah, if your opponent doesn't show up, doesn't send a message, doesn't do anything, and 15 minutes pass, you know, you just move along the bracket. If your opponent is streaming the match, you should signal readiness first and hold your readiness until you are sure of your team. Players streaming the matches are advised to hide their deck, which means their team, before the match starts. So yeah, all the matches should be streamed in our, like, 20 voice chats that we have on the server, so you just... Um, connect with your opponent you're like oh who streams you stream i stream and uh yeah one of the person streams so yeah the rest of the rules are pretty much as we know them already we've had them for the past couple of tournaments there's also disconnects and these things so if you do not know them yet please have a look as you hop into the server they're in the tournament rules bracket but the things that are new is that the registration is going to be open until april 6th as i said a little bit ago and basically the registration is open and then it closes and the tournament immediately starts so it's gonna happen at the same time as the registration closes we usually would have like a day period before it but we're gonna make this make this tournament like shorter this is kind of an experiment too because usually our tournaments like just drag on for a while this one's gonna be shorter and it's gonna be sweeter so at the start of the game when the tournament starts go to the general voice channel and form the tournament organizer before starting so uh, you know, you can connect with your with the person you're with, and uh, you can game on. You can start your next game as soon as you know the identity of your opponent. For each game, you and your opponent must stream in a free voice channel. Reporting of the results after your game ends, the winner should report the winner in the challenge bracket, and it should also report the team used by a text or a screenshot in the results report channel. This is basically so. You don't get a big advantage over your opponent if you're watching what kind of teams they play and they can't watch yours. Basically everyone that's winning are gonna have to post what teams they were playing in the in the results report channel so everyone can kind of get an idea of what everyone else is doing and then try to counterpick that. So yeah, that's gonna be pretty fun. In terms for the top player positions, a first place in this tournament will count as much as a third place in the major tournament in the tournament rankings, and a second place will count as much as a fifth place and the third place will count as much as a top 10 finish. So it's not as good as a usual tournament because, you know, it's obviously not as big as a usual tournament. And yeah, and, and that means that, you know, if I win this one, I get another third place medal, which would be cool. I'm the only person... What? How am I one of the only people that have third place medals? Yeah, I guess, I guess these people also have third place medals, but that's all they have. Yeah, these people only have third place medals, and then I have a third place medal. That's so odd. But yeah, if you end up in in first, you get a third place medal, mostly because you know you're kind of stingy with with the medals. You don't, we don't want to just start stacking this up like crazy with the, with the smaller tournaments. And if this one goes well, we might do another one like similarly, maybe with different characters, maybe with more of an. Uh, uh, kind of less Plague Doctor Hellion focus, but more of an off meta tournament. You know, this might just open the doors to a lot of interesting things we can do with the circus. So, yeah, hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Cheers!